<clears throat> hey everybody iron dog 63 here I'm gonna do uh, an omelet but it's called it's gonna be a pinwheel omelet you guys have seen pinwheels before here I got six eggs I'm gonna beat them because we're gonna this is gonna be the omelet part Right now I got the griddle heating up to 400 degrees. Just because when I pour this on there, I want it to cook and cook right then. I got six eggs here. And what I'm going to do is you want to cover the grill completely. that by just probably could have done it with five eggs I haven't made one in a long time we got to turn the heat down because we really don't need any more heat I'm trying to get it done to a consistency where it's almost done on the, both sides now First thing you're going to start off with is some cheese. Okay. Right here, that is jalapeno cheese or hot pepper cheese. Now, you want to put a little bit. This right here is sausage and bacon. You don't want to put a lot, just enough. Because you're going to be putting more and more on as it goes by. Okay. Now, the, the object is is to get it to roll. Okay. Like that. Now, Hard to do that with a camera sitting right there. There we go. Further away from the camera I get, the better it's going to be. Now I got some onions. And usually you can just take the onions and spread them all the way through it. Because who doesn't like onions, right? Right. We're going to put some potatoes on here, hash browns, and these hash browns have already got onions in them. And you guys aren't going to believe this, but I'm going to put some scrambled eggs in there. These are those scrambled eggs from the other day. Um, we made I made breakfast on Saturday. And um, these are those ones that come in a bag. So, put some scrambled eggs in there. And I'm going to put two more slices of cheese. some more bacon in here and sausage let's uh, do this different
and it's starting to break. You guys get the gist though. See if I can get it. Nope, it's breaking too bad. Anyways, you're gonna see my failure right along with everybody else. Okay, I got some sausage rigs. We had that the other day when we had scrambled eggs and hash browns. It is hard to make. Then again, like I said, I haven't made this in a few years. Um, and, uh, you know, the more often I do it, the better I'm going to be at it. Pick all that stuff up. And yes, the, 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 the stove top is clean. I just washed everything. Get that all down there in the trap. Got to put some cheese on this thing. Wouldn't be an omelet without cheese, now would it? Here's some Colby Jack. This will help seal the, the hole. Put three slices on that. And, by the way, if you're going to do this on a griddle, like I'm doing it, you need, you need one of them great big spatulas. You know, a long one that's, you know, flat, but that, I don't want to scratch this up, so that's why I'm using these plastic ones. Now, if I was out there doing it on a black stone, I could probably make a 20 egg omelet, and wouldn't be no problem because I got a bunch of them. Spent. We put some nice big tomatoes on it. Now that fit right on that plate. Probably gonna need a third spatula. There we go. And uh, no, I'm not going to eat this all. This, uh, I'm actually going to warm it up in the microwave, melt the cheese, and then I'll put it on a plate, a separate plate. There. Oh, where's my manners? We need to put some cheese on this thing. I'm doing this for you, Stray. There it is. And like I said, I wasn't going to eat it all myself, so... I put it in the microwave for about three minutes. Um, so I wanted to make sure all the cheese was melted on the inside, too. Hot. That's why they call it a pinwheel. If you look inside there, you can see all the layers. This right here, like I said, it's six on there's six eggs, so it makes a makes a big enough omelet for two people. Um, if I had a bigger grill, I could have made a 20 egg omelet. I do got a bigger one out there, or Kathy does. Uh, it's a black stone, but uh, I didn't decide to use that today. I'll bring you back for a taste test. Okay, this is the end of that uh, 
pinwheel omelet video. Now, I didn't add any salt or pepper. I am going to add some pepper to it now. Uh, I did it once before when I did a pinwheel and I salted the whole omelet and I peppered the whole omelet. Well, once you start rolling it over and over and over, you start getting salt on top of pepper, on top of salt, on top of salt, on top of pepper, on top of pepper, on top of pepper. So it just, it, you know, avalanches. So you want to pepper and salt this after you get done cooking it, you know, to your taste. This right here has enough salt in it from the hash browns that got salted and peppered when I cooked them. The bacon and the sausage, it all has, and then the sausage gravy had plenty of salt in it. So it doesn't need any salt, it just needs some pepper. That should be plenty. Now, let's take a gander at this, take a taste test. This is really good. It's got plenty enough cheese on it. It's got jalapeno or hot pepper jack cheese on the side. It's got the Colby Jack on the outside. I could have put some, uh, you know, shredded cheese into it too. Some American cheese, whatever. Uh, but it's got plenty of cheese on it. This is Iron Dog 63 saying, if you are a subscriber, thank you for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, Please like and subscribe, it really does help. And as always, God bless and have a great day. Hashtag I am somebody. Hashtag looking lovely as ever. Prayers and peace to you all. Have a blessed day.